Good day, this is Sonny Jimenez with TexasRealtyPros.com. We are located at 3501 South Shepherd, and today I'll be training you how to do the basic searches in HAR, or HAR MLS. Okay, so um, I'm going to assume you're already logged in, you know how to log in, and you're in the MLS system. Um, first of all, let's talk about the tabs here. Single family house is just a regular house. Townhouse condo is where one or more walls are attached. Uh, a lot single is just regular land multifamily is multiple is it's like a condo but it may be a duplex triplex or quadplex now anything over five, four properties is considered an apartment so it's like one to four family or should I say two to four family and multifamily now country homes and acreage of course is homes with m a lot of acreage uh, mid-rise high-rise condo it mid rise is a condo that has four stories or less, a high rise of course is more. Um, both of them will be inside there. So now there's rentals, which explains itself. This is rental property, such as renting houses, renting condos, rent, renting townhouse condos, all that good stuff. Now and then there's all. Now um, all will take every single thing and just bring a big old search. But you have to be careful though whenever you're using all because it will all. If a, a person's looking to buy a house or a condo or a townhouse. It will also send them rentals, so that's just one note to take. To take. <clears throat> okay, today we're gonna be, we're gonna start off very simply. Now, when you first start off as a realtor, you need to you need to familiarize yourself with all these different fields. All these different fields are very important. The way does the engineers or the computer programmers set up this system is is a combination search and what I mean by that is that let's say for instance um, let's do subdivision or market area let's do a market area of Galleria and we want all homes that are 200,000 to 240 so that's basically Querying the, database, or querying the database or asking the database to send me all Galleria properties that are $200,000, $240,000. We'll click search and we'll see what we get. So we get a few properties here. If you notice, it's $200,000 to $240,000. And if we click on the MLS number, it'll give us more information about the property market area here is Galleria as you can see here so you see how that works now anybody could do a search like that anybody could do a search what's your job to do as a realtor is to get in the side the mind of your buyer you need to really really ask questions I know sometimes they want to jump in a car and say hey let's just go look at the house and what I do is usually sit with them really define their needs so I'll tell them, okay, you know, it's a, it's a few houses, uh, two, you know, only four houses there in Galleria, but we're going to change that. Um, what I wanted to ask is, like, how many beds, how many baths, how many stories, like one, two, three, or four story house, what kind of floors do they have, how about countertops, what's important to you, how about the year built, um, do you mind if it's a really old house, or do you want it no more than, like, 10 years old, do you need a half bath? Um, are schools important to you? All this stuff is very, very important. It's going to save you lots of time. I've had realtors before in the past um, take clients out and show them 20 houses and not really even make an offer. Um, and that's the realtor's fault because he didn't define their needs. Um, it's very, very important to define those clients' needs. I have taken out many clients and showed them one house and they made an offer on that house. So get inside your mind of the buyer, define their needs. So let's change a couple of things. And like the gallery only had a few, okay? But let's say the guy here wants to be in Katy. And he needs a at least three bedrooms. And he needs at least two full baths. And he says he likes to be in a rather large house, so 3,000 square feet or greater. And the lot size, he has a couple of dogs, so we're going to need a fair size lot. And year built, he says, oh, I only want a house that's no more than 10 years old. So we're going to do 2001. 
This is near now, it's 2011. And say I like to save myself some trouble and basically just show them active homes on the market. The default is active option pending and pending continue to show. Option pending means there's an option on there's a contract on the house and the option is pending, meaning that the buyer has so many days to back out without a penalty. Pending continue to show there's a contract on the property, pass option, or there was no option, but the realtor still wants to show the property. So but word of advice, I just use active, but that's up to you. Let's go ahead and click search. Scroll back up here. As you can see, we've got quite a few things here. We've got a few, two, you know, all these are in Katy. Let's go ahead and click on one here. Okay, make sure that it falls here. So we've got Katy. We've got um, square footage. Boo -doo -boo. Here's a lot size here, 88.72. So you see how that, that fit in. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We got three bedrooms. We got four bedrooms because, see, I said a minimum of three. So it could be anything greater than three. But we got actually um, possibly four out of five bedrooms, and one of the one of the rooms can become a bedroom. So as you can see, you see how that works. We can go back to list. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and email the client these homes. Let's check all listings here. Let's go. Email listings. Now HER has a rather snazzy little tool here. Saves you a little time. I'm gonna put their email address here. Let's uh, let's see here. Hello. Beautiful life one at gmail.com. Subject homes homes in Katy. Now I have my signature here already configured. Make sure you have that configured as well. <clears throat> Always ask for referrals and let them know that you're never too busy. Have your signature here with your contact information. And um, that'll be well. I have a little <laughs> too blessed to be stressed, but Joe Osteen's my hero. <laughs> so, um, let's go ahead and um, send this thing, send this out. Oh, actually, let's select what reports you want to send him. Uh, I like to send a CMA and basically a spreadsheet view of the houses that you're sending him. It's, it's easily you can easily look at a glance and compare the houses statistically, like square footage, bedrooms, on how we hear built, and all that good stuff with the CMA. I would send a buyer full photo report. I'm not going to send the full page or the three up. And let's send mail now. Great. Now let's preview. I like to just double check my work. Ah, uh, great. Here. Good. Good. You always want to check. Sometimes, sometimes a house in there will get in there, sneak in there somehow. And I like to double check so I don't look like a fool to my client. Okay, so everything looks good here. Close this. And that, my friend, is the basic concept of searching for a house. Um, we will go into more advanced searches in our next video. Thank you for tuning in. This is Sonny Jimenez with TexasRealtyPros.com. I really appreciate you viewing my video. We are a 100% commission broker located in Houston, Texas. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.